Okay guys, I finally made it to the Patsy Klein Memorial. But gosh, the parking. It said there was gonna be signs where parking is. This is the road it's on. Look, there's no one around here. I think I'm the only one here. Anyway, I was reading that it said there'll be blue signs directing you to parking, but I saw nothing <laughs> about where to park. So I actually um, drove around like miles out of my way because they kept going in circles to try and figure out where to park. And I finally was going to decide to turn in here because it's right by the memorial. And then way back here, this is how you go in, I guess, to the memorial. I don't even know where my car is now. Oh, it's down there. I see it. Um, am I on the road? I don't even know. This is kind of weird the way this is set up, I think. I'm going to go down here. But you'll see way down here. Whoops. And this road is very hilly around here, extremely hilly. Like, I don't even think you can take someone in a wheelchair here. Um, when, once I pulled in here, it said cars only. So I figured this is the parking area. But there's no designated lines or anything. Like, you don't even know where to park. So I pulled up along the side of a tree. And just parked right there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I did it. So, we come across this. I guess the plane crash was March 5th, 1963. Look at this pretty little heart. I'm not exactly sure where the plane crashed, though. I should have watched someone else's YouTube video to figure it out. But this was the woods it crashed in. How sad that was, huh? Man. It's like my friend Steve, who just put up the video of that lady who was killed by the train. Um, I think in Downers Grove. She's with her lawyer and crosses the track. And he steps back and a train's coming. But she didn't step back and the train hit her. And she was dead. She was getting divorced and she was going to sign divorce papers. It's like, you don't even know when your last day is going to be on this earth. That's all I can say. No one knows. You know, Patsy Klein, I'm sure, didn't think, you know, I'll get on this plane and then I'll say my prayers because next thing I know, I'm going to be somewhere up in heaven or any of the people with her. So here's a little... I don't know what this is. There's flowers over there. Maybe this is the actual crash site. Because people are leaving things here. Oh, look at all the coins. People left. I have coins in my purse. I think I'll leave a coin. Because I didn't bring any flowers. But. This uh, sign says. One of country music's darkest days, on March 5th, 1965, at 30 years of age, country singer Virginia Patterson Hensley, better known as Patsy Cline, along with her manager Randy Hughes and fellow Grand Old Opry stars Hawkshaw Hawkins and Cowboy Copas, were killed in a plane crash in Camden, Tennessee, on their way home from a benefit concert in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, known for her smooth-sounding, emotive voice, Klein helped break down the gender barrier, barrier in the musical genre. Considered one of country music's greatest vocalists, Klein was posthumously inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1973. So, you know, it doesn't really have a sign saying exactly where the plane crashed, but I'm assuming it was right here because of this being here. 
this little I don't know how you get way down there. They got walking paths. But I don't think there's anything down there because there's no other signs directing you to anything. So I think this is it. I hope that's it because I hate to leave and find out, you know, there's more that I missed. Um, I don't know why I do this, but I never wear the right shoes for walking. <laughs> Here I am with my sandals on again. Oh, here's this is how you get down there. Oh, there's a rock down there. Let's go see what that is. Man. There's a big boulder at the bottom of this. I don't know if there's going to be something on that boulder about the crash or not. But if there is, then they should have signs to tell you to go down and see, look at the memorial boulder or something. Problem is, when I go down this, I also got to climb up it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little hard for me, but I'll I'll make it. I gotta start carrying gym shoes in my car so I can switch my shoes if I go places like this. Okay, how do you get to the boulder that I saw? Or maybe go down here? What is that? There's a little gazebo there. Let's see. Man, everything's hills. Let me go up this hill and see what this is. Whoa. Because there's something in it. I've never seen a gazebo with whatever this is here. Well, I don't know what that box is. I don't know what that is. Pretty little gazebo. But, um, okay, let's go, let's go back to where we were. Let's do this again. Climb down this hill. Man, these hills are steep. I am not going to fall today, I promise. I don't feel like it. Although these shoes are horrible for this. Ugh. Okay, we were on this road. And we're going to go down here, around this way. I think the boulder's back there. It's, you know, it's really amazing to me that that, that plane went down like that and went into the woods instead of the homes around here. I don't think it crashed. I think it was woods. Man, I should have put mosquito repellent on, too. Oh, I guess this is the crash site down here because there's a sign here that says silence beyond this point. So that boulder does mean something.
it says silence beyond this point, but nobody's here. And so I'll read this to you in case you didn't catch that on my camcorder. Um, it says on this site, March 5th, 1963, Patsy Klein, Cowboy Copas, Hawksh Hawkshaw Hawkins, Randy Hughes lost their lives in a plane crash. In loving memory, July 6, 1996. That's when this was put up here. This is a pretty little angel. And they've got little things people have left, I, I think, like this piece, necklace. A little angel sitting there. Um, flowers over here. Mm. Little butterfly. So, a flag right there. This is the rock. This is the site right here. We'll look around the back of it. It's all woods. Well, this was worth coming out for. Definitely worth coming out for. We can take a couple of pictures of this. I don't know if you can see it, but For me, it was definitely worth coming out for. You know, I used to love country music, just adored country music. It's all I used to listen to for a long time. Um, and she's one of the ladies that started it all, especially, well, for women. She had a beautiful voice. So rest in peace to all of you that died in this plane crash, in this isolated area here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn this off because um, I don't want you to hear me huffing and puffing up this hill. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.